What's good my peoples? Today on Passport Kings I'm issuing you and myself a weight loss challenge before my upcoming trip to Brazil in July. Engage! So I hear all the stories about how they will accept you the way that you are in Brazil. How African Americans are treated like a man and were already regarded in the highest of standards. But for me, I also have to feel a certain way about myself. And being in the best shape of my life, that makes me feel that way. Alright, so my birthday is coming up and at the end of July, I'm going to celebrate it in Rio de Janeiro. But I don't like my current weight and shape. So, I read an article called The Three Day Military Diet and I decided I'm going to do that. I'm told I could lose up to 10 pounds in three days. So this video right here is going to document my experience. Will it work? But I do want to let y'all know that I will be cheating on this diet. I'm going to be walking in the morning and going to the gym. But like I said, stay tuned for this commercial break and I'm going to be right back. Alright, so this episode of Passport Kings, again, is brought to you by my website. If you're going to be traveling, or if you want to become a Passport King and help others travel, or if you just want to know where the hot spots are going to be this summer, check out my website. Go to the Contact Us page to become a Passport King. Go to the Trips page to find out all the new upcoming trips. And if you have an event that you want to advertise there, uh, go to that page, the trip page, and we'll get that set up for you. And also, if you're just booking a trip for yourself, you want to go to Brazil, maybe you could come meet me in Brazil. Uh, book it on my travel website, and we can book that trip for you for the same prices that you'll find on, on Expedia, Hotels.com, and all that good jazz. Alright, so here's a list of the foods you're going to need to complete this challenge. First, go to the supermarket and find the best deal you can find on as many bottled waters as possible. I got 32 bottles of Kroger water for just $2.99. Water will be your anchor in between meals. This is to stop you from feeling empty and it'll keep you hydrated all day. Next, get a bag of grapefruits. All citrus foods burn fat, but grapefruits is what this diet uh, calls for. And it burns fat better than oranges and lemons. You also need black coffee for those who are addicted. Oh, I mean, I mean those that crave coffee every morning. You need a small jar of peanut butter, some wheat bread, two cans of tuna, green beans, probably a can, some fresh chicken, bananas, enough ice cream to last you for about four days, vanilla ice cream that is. Also get a carton of eggs, you're gonna, you're gonna be having boiled eggs, but if your supermarket's anything like mine, they'll sell a little packet of boiled eggs that are already boiled that you can just buy the packet, you won't even have to cook the joints. Get a pack of your favorite hot dogs, saltine crackers, and cottage cheese. Get one of those 99 cent boxes of small broccoli, the frozen one. Get a small bag of carrots, and get three apples. Also, have the person behind the deli cut you about a quarter pound of cheddar cheese. Any brand will do it. So just get whichever one is on sale. I did. Alright, so yeah, that might sound expensive, but get everything on sale. Me, I used a few coupons and everything came up to a little less than 20 bucks. And you won't be hungry for the next three days because you won't be buying no other types of food. So you actually see that you saved money on food for, that, for these three days coming. So, day one, the night before I got into the bed super early, because many people say that a lack of sleep will stop you from losing weight. This is only three days out of my life, so I want to give this diet the most fair chance it has to work. Alright, so here's my beginning weight. I don't need your chuckles, alright? I'm working on it. Alright, so here I am standing in my drawers. I got on the scale, I'm at 247 pounds. That's just, ah, man, that's ridiculous. So if this works, three days from now, I should be around 237 pounds. I'm not a coffee guy, so instead of that, I'm going to just be having water with my meals. I've gotten my palate used to water a long time ago, so that part won't be that hard for me. We're going to toast one slice of whole wheat bread and spread two tablespoons of peanut butter on it. We then slice one grapefruit in half and then enjoy them both. I'm just realizing that this diet wants you to have caffeine, so instead of the plain water, I'm going to boil one tea bag inside of some water. Don't add any sugar to it and drink it. It's not that bad. 
All right, it's lunchtime, and I think it may have been a mistake to go on my daily walk after I ate. So tomorrow, I'm gonna make sure that I work out first, then eat breakfast. But anyway, for lunch, we're having one slice of toast, one half cup of tuna, and some unsweetened tea. One cup again. Okay, it's dinner time, and I'm having three ounces of chicken, the same size as a deck of cards, one cup of green beans, one small apple, and one half a banana and also one cup of vanilla ice cream. I found it easier to chop the chicken into pieces and throw the green beans in the same skillet. The green bean juices will flow into the chicken and that'll add some flavor to it. Okay, and I added a dash of salt. After I ate that, I sliced the apples and bananas into a bowl, microwaved them for 30 seconds and then dumped the ice cream right on top of it. I stirred it and I ate it. And it was so good I could swear I was cheating on this diet. By the way, after lunch, I was barely hungry, but after dinner, I'm truly full. But remember, I drank a lot of bottles of water the whole day. Okay, here's day two. I know better than to go straight to the kitchen. I'm gonna drink my bottle of water that I have by the bed every morning to get my metabolism started. But after that, I'm heading outside with my dog to go jog. I'll come back and do a few sit-ups, a few push-ups, and maybe some curls, and then I'm gonna head to the kitchen. All right, so on the breakfast menu today, I'm eating one boiled egg. I wrapped that with my whole wheat toast and I killed that. Then I ate half the banana and then I was gone out the house. For lunch, I'm eating one hard boiled egg and five crackers and, and one cup of cottage cheese. By the way, I wasn't even hungry by lunchtime today. Working out before breakfast, that really helped out a lot. And yo, this lunch was very filling too, surprisingly. I heard people hate cottage cheese. It was fine with me. I mean, I've eaten plenty of cottage cheese before. Besides, it's just a quick diet, so quit whining and just eat it. You're already on day two. Yo, get on day two, I hooked it up. I had two franks, half a cup of carrots, one cup of broccoli, half a banana, and a half a cup of ice cream again. Again, I cooked the franks in the skillet, I, I turned them joints brown a little bit, I chopped them up into little pieces, and then I dumped the green beans and the cabbage right on top of that, stirred it up, put the lid on the top of the skillet and let that joint simmer. Alright, I did add a dash of salt and I threw some crushed garlic in it. Yo, by the time I was ready to eat and I tasted it, I was thinking to myself, I need to have this on a regular basis because really, it was that good. Again, I just had my half a banana, I sliced it into slices, threw it in the microwave for a couple of seconds and then poured my ice cream on top of that. And man, I could eat that meal almost any day. All right, here's day three, diet's almost over. All right, so for breakfast this morning, we had one slice of cheddar cheese, one small apple and five crackers. I worked out first and then I ate it. It was a small breakfast, but I was happy I was almost done. Third day. It was surprisingly filling, but by the time I got to lunch that day, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little hungry. I ate my one slice of toast and my boiled egg like a fiend. <laughs> I wanted more after that, so I just filled up on water. All right, so dinner the third day, I ate my one cup of tuna and my same ice cream and banana mix. I was ready to snack later, so I just went to bed. All right, so it's time for the weigh-in. Day four. Okay, so I only lost seven pounds instead of the 10, but that was amazing. I walked through the supermarket today and I wasn't even thinking about none of that stuff on their shelves. I think the best part of that diet was the discipline. I guess that's why they call it military. But one thing is, I think it's easy to diet when you're gonna be out back and forth close to home. But my fear is when I'm out and all over the world. I love to taste different foods from different cultures. And it seems like going to eat is the universal way to celebrate successes. Yet and still, this diet worked. And I'm sure I'm going to be using a lot of its principles in the upcoming weeks. Plus, I'm going to go on the exact diet again sometime next week. For three days. And thanks to me, work back from Brazil will be. Dudes from North America is in great shape. Well, I'm going to do my workout now, and I'll eat a light breakfast. And if you want to lose a couple of pounds real fast, try this diet. You won't regret it. So until this time next week, next Wednesday, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and go to PassportKings.com to book flights, advertise your events, and find all the cool events and trips, or become a Passport King by going to the Contact Us tab. Yo, I hope to see you in Brazil this July.
If you see me, come say what's up. Then compliment me on the weight I lost. And remember, nobody controls you. If you don't like any aspect of your life, commit to change it. If you do the same things you've always done, guess what? You're going to be left with the same results. And you know who you're letting down? You're letting down yourself. You should be able to trust yourself. Doing the same things day in and day out, that's the work of a slave. And you're not a slave. You're a king. A passport king. I'll talk to y'all next week. Later.